Last night I wrote an article about discipline and self-control, and I suppose really the the importance of that. I've noticed it in my own life, and to me where it brings value to my life and meaning is in things that I've done in the past, or maybe things I'm still currently doing, I have proven to myself that by practicing self-control, by practicing this self-discipline, I can get things done. For example, over, I guess, a year and a half ago, about July 2021, I started writing every day on Medium. Uh, you may know what that is. If not, it's a, it's just a, a website for writers. And, and anyway, started doing that. And I have been writing pretty much every day since then. So for nearly a year and a half now, I've written something every single day. And that was so helpful to me because it it showed me that if I will put my mind to it and I will stick to the process, that I can do things that I want to do. I'd always wanted to start writing online, but I had struggled with consistency then I just made the commitment, hey, every day I'm going to carve out a little bit of time and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write every single day. And for a year and a half now, I'm thankful I've been able to do that. I hope to continue doing that. I love doing it. But this idea of discipline, of self-control, you can do it. It takes effort. It takes thinking about what you intend to do, what you want to accomplish. And once you know what you want to accomplish, okay, then you have to think about how am I going to do this? How am I going to make this happen? How much time do I need to carve out of my day? Do I need to, uh, for example, do I need to set aside time to write first thing in the morning? Do I need to do it at night after everyone's gone to bed? Or for me right now, I keep my daughter a few days a week during the day, and I work um, around that. Right now, she's down for a nap. So now, this is my window of time to do this. So you have to identify the windows of time that you have to get things done. But also, you you have to have everything there at your disposal. When, it, when you have that window of time, for example, filming this video, I have my, my computer, I have my microphone, I have my webcam. Those are the three things that I need in order to record a video. Do I have all three of those things with me? If I'm going to write about something, do I have the resources that I need? Have I, have I studied what I'm going to write about? You, know, I, you have to have everything together. So, so you, have to, you have to carve out a period of time in your day if you want to be able to accomplish something, you also have to have everything you need at your disposal. And then I guess the third thing I would mention about that is don't certainly have high expectations, but don't expect the impossible. You know, if you're, if you're new to writing, we'll just use that since that's something I do. If you're new to writing, uh, sitting down and writing a 20,000 word article or post, or book, whatever, that's probably not the first thing you need to shoot for. You need to have a more attainable goal, short-term goal that you can reach. Write a 500-word article, or, or hey, write 250 words, and then publish that, and get that out there, and then the, tomorrow, do the same thing, the day after that, and keep doing that, and as you grow more comfortable, you'll be able to do more and more. So keep those three things in mind, and, and Exercise that self-control, that discipline, and you'll be able to get things done in your life.